Hi everybody, this is Daniel with DCF Garage and it is Christmas in July. I got a new air compressor for the garage and yes, it is from Harbor Freight. Yay! <laughs> I know you guys love Harbor Freight more than anything. It's the high-end brand for Harbor Freight, which is Fortress. It is the equivalent to the Dewalt. This is a 225 PSI, uh, five gallon tank, which with 225, it's supposed to match a uh, 15 gallon tank or something like that. And it has 5.1 SCFM. So it should be able to run like uh, an impact wrench, an air impact wrench. I'm gonna test that and you know i'll just share with you guys my first impression with it and we'll go from there all right so let's open this thing and by the way it took an eternity for harbor freight to ship this and i guess you know it's probably the same experience for everybody i paid 239 it was 200 and 69 so $30 off plus $7 shipping and it took about four weeks for it to get here let's see what's inside the air compressor I hope yay look at that this is awesome this is quite an upgrade I had the cheap $50 Walmart uh, donut compressor that really didn't help to do anything. <laughs> it's really bad. Now I'm gonna do the break-in process. So I was reading the manual. You have to have the switch in the off position over here. You gotta connect it to the outlet and open the drain valve underneath. I've already opened, so let me pull it up so you can see. So open the drain valve, right? This is closed, this is open. All right, and also open the regulator. So turn it all the way to the right until it stops. All right, so everything is open. And now we're gonna turn on the compressor and let it run for 15 minutes freely. So basically all the air is gonna escape and the engine is just gonna run or the motor is just gonna run for 15 minutes and that's the braking. So I'm gonna turn it on and what I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna measure the sound level because it says it's supposed to be 78 decibels. So we're gonna check to see if that is the case or not. I believe it's gonna be somewhat silent for a big compressor, but we'll see. So let's turn it on. All right, so let me go get the cell phone to measure, you know, how loud this is. All right, five feet from the compressor, uh, you know, facing the front, I think that's about 78 decibels. So as you can see, I did the measurements basically in a closed environment. So in my garage here, uh, with it running, about five feet distance, it's 82 decibels. Whichever direction you film it, it's gonna be 82 decibels. It's not 78. The only way I got 78 decibels is when I dragged it outside of the garage and I measured it from the, from, you know, from the front of the compressor. So that's the only situation where I got 78 decibels. So my opinion is that realistically, this is an 82 decibel compressor. It's not really rated 78. I mean, I think they were overly optimistic when they rated this 78. I think 82 is more realistic. But regardless of the decibel level, what pleased me is that the noise is actually bearable because it's a low rumble. It doesn't really hurt your ear that much. So, I mean, I, I, can, I can see myself working with this compressor and not going crazy versus the other small 
hot dog, 100 PSI compressor I had, cheap, $50 from Walmart, it drove me crazy. It was so loud, it was so high, it was so high pitched that it was crazy. Anyway, so this is first impressions of, about this compressor, at least from a noise perspective. The other aspect that I liked about this compressor versus the DeWalt is the fact that it's a rubber wheel, it's flat free, there's no rubber tube or anything for me to have to be uh, worried about whether there's a flat in my compressor tire. I think that's ridiculous. Um, so this is just a rubber wheel. It doesn't feel like it's too cheap. It's certainly not, uh, you know, the highest quality in the world, but it will most likely do the trick.